Hey Strikers, this is SF and welcome to Striker Chains. This time it is going to be Shina from the Dengeki Online Collaboration. So I'm bringing Shina and Vlad and uh, Akichi into uh, Tengu. So Tengu is a very strong monster. He has two no abilities, which is very nice. There's, a not, there's not a lot of monsters with two abilities in my opinion. So bringing them into uh, Tengu and let's see what my friend Liz has to offer. Let's go with Walpurgis. Uh, because the main hazard is damage walls. So bring all the damage wall monsters you have. Uh, Shana is just good because he's a fire and no damage wall monster. And he's, she's just generally good because of the mines as well. Having a uh, flight and damage walls. Okay. I haven't beaten Tengu in a long time so all I remember is damage walls and laser barrier. So, and don't bring homings because of the homing servers. But either way, let's do this. And first shot was okay, killing off all these guys, like giving damage to Tengu. And doing well so far. Wow, they are really squishy actually. Uh, the bad part about uh, Shana is her bump combo. But as you can see, it dealt some damage even with Walpurgis. Uh, well, Pergus is shockwaves doing most of the work. Okay, let's just clear off the homing absorbers. Homing absorbers. And go up. Almost there. Almost there. But as long as you deal with the damage walls, it should be okay. Okay, next starting off with Akechi Mitsuhide. And it's just turtles, okay. Let's just go whatever. That was a bad shot though because I didn't hit Walpurgis. But all three of my monsters have something that can bypass the laser bear. So we have Mitsuhide's shotgun, we have Vlad's, uh, what's it is, spread pure destruction, and we have Shina's flame, and then we have Walpurgis's. Uh, mob clearing shockwave. <laughs> it's a uh, lock all shockwave. Ooh, there's that bump combo critical from China. Eh, it dealt some work, I think. <laughs> it cleared a lot. Uh, I think it cleared relatively well. But who knows? Wow, there's another bump combo critical. That is crazy. Two turns in a row, that's a bump combo critical. Unless some of other monsters have it. Nope, that's a guide. And well, Pergus does not have a bump combo critical. So that was two straight turns of bump combo critical. Okay. And Shana to finish off the work. Or not. Or not. I keep on forgetting what Shana is. Oh, it's just a bash and a knockup. So that's not that useful. Okay, but for a farm she is very very good for just getting all the gimmicks. If you're a beginner, and for sure get Shina in your team, even if it's not max luck. If you can max luck her, then by all means go for it. And just hit the mini boss and Walpurgis, and the flowers flowers just die. Okay, next fly just deal damage onto the dude. And there's the bump combo critical again. Holy crap. It's either I'm lucky or they really changed the rates on that. <laughs> just because it's a flame. I got like three already and that's like pretty absurd. Some people don't even can't even get one in a in a game with the max luck. Of course it's higher when you have a max luck monster, but even so, uh, they don't proc that often. Like as you can see all my other max lucks with Vlad's guide it doesn't work. It's not popping up, but with China that's three in a row, holy crap. Not three in a row, but like three in one game, that's pretty crazy. Okay. Boss <coughs> Excuse me. And just basically avoid that flame from 
Tengu and you should be fine. And even so, as long as you don't uh, park right at the base of that flame, then you're not gonna be dealt that much damage. Okay, laser is fine. And let's just move down and deal some damage onto Tengu. Nice. Very good. And blood. Perfect. Great so far. Next stage, starting off with Mitsuhide. The thing that I'm really worrying the most about this team is that I have no trick shot damage. Like, uh, while Pergus doesn't, while Pergus's strike shot doesn't do any damage, and you have Bash from Shina, all no strike shot from Vlad is okay, and I think Mitsuhide's is also a Bash. Bash strike shot, let me check. Yep, it is a Bash strike shot. But anyway, second stage, just clear off the mobs on the left side. If your monsters are on the left side, if they're all on the right side, then just ram uh, Tengu with damage. Okay. Like, when you first start off, like, when you first play Tengu, like, back in the day, you have to worry about damage so much that you have to, like, avoid their... Avoid Tengu's uh, flame, lasers, whatever, whatever, whatever had you. But now you just swipe and hit bump combos. That's the world we live in now, especially for these earlier, uh, earlier dungeons. Okay, just doing damage. Like even fireballs can do quite an amount. That's the flame that you should be worried about. It's just that Mitsuhide wasn't that close to get totally wrecked by it. And Mitsuhide for the finish. There we go. Okay, now last bar. Like I said, not a, not a lot of strike shot damage. So I'm banking on the fact that my bump bonus will do enough and there's a lot of mobs here. So let's just delay everybody. Sadly, you cannot delay the drone, so... If you don't have damage wall monsters, then be careful because they're gonna shoot three damage walls at you. And let's check shot because that's a clear line. Come on, good, good, good. And I got lucky with that. Even so, I'm just gonna strike shot and hit guys. Nice, nice, nice. Not bad. Well, speed clear is gonna get away from me. Ooh, okay, that is not bad either. But yeah, stretch. Uh, speed clear is gonna get away from me. Just because my monsters are not 100% great for Tengu, even though there are farm rolls and they're not supposed to be 100%. There are a lot better ones out there. <laughs> Next is China. Shana has a Demi Hue Slayer, that's why you see the Slayer circle onto Mr. Ice. On top of that, then it is a water monster, so it doesn't do that much in my opinion. But let's finish this off. Boom. So there you have it, Tengu. Relatively easy, but it is long and you might miss some speed clear if you're bringing all three max lux and a carry that doesn't do that much damage. But either way, it is a relatively uh, safe clear. And Shana is just great, not in just Tengu, but in a lot of other stuff like Kushinada Kai and Marishi and a lot of other water dungeons, uh, wood dungeons, just because she has two no abilities. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.